So for this problem, uh, we buy a personal computer system that costs $18,000, and annual maintenance for that system is $900. After three years, the salvage value of the system is $3,000. And if interest rate is 8%, what is the equivalent uniform annual cost? So let's go ahead and start with our cash flow diagram. We know that in year zero, we make our purchase for $18,000. And after three years, the system is worth $3,000. Uh, the question asks us, uh, after three years, what is the salvage cost of the system? And we know annual maintenance is $900. So year one, two, and three, we make $900 payments per year. And we're trying to solve A. So here in this problem, uh, one key factor to, to think about is we need to convert that $3,000 and that $18,000 into the same time as A. Um, right now we have, basically what we have is uh, present worth is the 18,000 and future worth which is our 3,000, so we need to find those annual payments. So we can start with solving, writing an equation for A. So we're going to have $18,000, and then here's where we need to think through, and, and we know here that we have, um, we're finding A given our present at an interest rate. Um, and then our $900 we actually just simply add in. It's in the right time, so we don't actually have to uh, change the time of that $900. It's $900 every year, no matter what year. Um, so we just add $900, and then we'll subtract $3,000, which we will use the same as we did before. Uh, find A given, but in this case it will be P or F, the future value. Um, so one thing to notice in this type of problem here is the emphasis on signs. Make sure you pay attention to your negatives and your positives. As long as you remain consistent, it, uh, you can make, it, make it make sense with your cash flow diagram. So we can now write our equation and fill in our interest rates. So A given P at an interest rate of 8% for three years plus $900 minus 3,000 A given future, 8% for three years. So now we can actually pull out our factor tables and we can use the same table in both, well, well the same, uh, make sure you don't use the same table, but you can use the same, our 8% is the same for both. Make sure you're using your A over P and then your A over F tables. So from our first table, we'll get a value uh, for this, this portion here of 0 0.3880 plus our 900 minus 3,000 times a value we get from the tables that is 0 0.3080. And we can solve this and get A equals $6,960. And that would make sense for this problem. Make sure you question uh, your, your final solution to see if it makes sense for what the question is asking.